This is empty, did not know that. <laughs> Why is this in my cabinet? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, That Chocolate Bean with me, Erin Wells. And you read that title correctly, we're going to be making a Super Bowl charcuterie board. Let's get started. Alright guys, it is a lot going on in this video. I'm making a boatload of appetizers to go on a big board in case you don't know what a charcuterie board is. It's a big board of cheese and meat, but we're doing basically a Super Bowl edition full of appetizers. It's a little rush. None of these recipes are perfect, so bear with me, but I did it out of love and it turned out above okay. <laughs> Let's get this party started, y'all. I made some Rotel dip with baby Bella mushrooms as my meat substitute. I just put them in the food processor, but not too processed. You don't want it to be mush. Add in this spicy taco seasoning, y'all, and it, it was legit spicy. Like, I do not recommend this to anybody who doesn't like spice. It was spicy to me. And you know I add hot sauce to everything. Now taking an entire white onion. I didn't use the whole thing. I could have. I thought it was going to be too much, but looking back, I could have used the whole thing. Now I'm taking a container of vegan cream cheese, adding that entire thing to the pan. The stove is off, by the way, but the oven is preheated to 375. A whole bag of Daya cheese is going in and a whole container of so delicious sliced cheese is also going in. Too much cheese for this one can of Rotel. I would either do a half a package of the sliced cheddar or I would do another can of Rotel when I make this again. It was really good. It was just too cheesy and not enough flavor. So now I am realizing that I never did season the mushrooms y'all. Shame, shame on me. So I'm going back, taking it out of the oven. It was in the oven about 15, 20 minutes. Taking it out of the oven and we're going to season with some steak seasoning, some liquid aminos, and some liquid smoke. Now I'm gonna stir it up. I have yet to try it yet. I was just kind of rushing to cook, which I don't recommend this, y'all. This day was very stressful for me because I had people coming over and I had so many things to make. Um, so I should have made this the day before. What was I thinking making this day of? This was definitely been a day before meal and just put it back in the oven to reheat. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in the oven, let it cook on residual heat. We're gonna leave it back in the oven while we move on to our other parts and I promise y'all I'm gonna taste it. I just want this all melted first. Okay, never tried this before y'all, but you know this brand of Takis is vegan. Hot chili pepper and lime. So I wanna do this flavor of cauliflower we use. Let me double check. It's a, it's a lot of um, a lot of chemicals in here. It is, it is not healthy by any means, but it's accidentally vegan, okay? So, uh, Taki flavored cauliflower wings. Let, let's process these bad boys up. This is all we have from that bag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some panko breadcrumbs to it. So let's add about half a cup of panko to it as well. And since we did want it to be spicy, I'm gonna add some more um, chili flakes in here since we don't want to take away the spice. Okay, boom. And we're gonna mix that all in together. And this will be our coating. This cauliflower is just from a pre uh, florette bag from Kroger. I was trying to minimize work, although FYI, these do cost more if you get them pre-chopped, okay? All right, let's season our cauliflower. We're gonna put some flour on our florets. No measurement, but in case you wanna know, I am using a four for a cup scoop. Some almond milk. This will be our wet batter. Boom. And I'm going to use Chef Joya's Just Magic, but you can use your favorite all-purpose seasoning. Let's get that on there. Boom. I'm going to work with one hand, get it all coated. Some of these I need to break up. They're way too big. <laughs> Should have did that before I started seasoning. I'm trying to go too fast. My guests are supposed to be coming over in like 30 minutes, and I have not even started frying yet. They can wait, but I don't like being, you know, I don't like being late. All right, so let's pour some Just Egg in this bowl here. Boom, about half the bottle. Y'all know how just egg do. <laughs> so we got our wet batter into our just egg and right into our panko crust, okay? Oh, I'm so excited. Y'all hear me? Never had this before. And repeat. All right, give you guys a look. So I'm gonna do the rest off camera. There we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna try another new experiment. We're gonna try to do fried mac and cheese balls. So I have some mac and cheese I made the other day, well, yesterday. Um, we're also gonna make some more egg rolls with these later as well. Again, panko breadcrumbs going in. I am so freaking excited. 
Gonna season the panko with Italian seasoning. Put some Italian seasoning in the panko breadcrumbs. All right, so let me use my fourth, uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> one fourth of a cup scooper to get some mac and cheese. This is cold. Okay, boom, let me get this out. Kind of put it into as much of the ball as I can. Never touch cold mac and cheese before. So sort of a ball, boom. We're gonna roll it in our same egg wash. Now this is a little dirty from the Takis, but I think it'll be just fine. So roll it in our egg wash. And once again, repeat the process and put it in our breadcrumbs. So, boom. All right, let's repeat. Another fourth a cup. Kind of get the ball, kind of mold it. Egg wash. And into our panko breadcrumbs. All right, again, let me cut the camera and do more of these. <laughs> now I'm gonna make some Brussels sprouts, y'all. So just taking these pre-cut uh, Brussels sprouts, adding some avocado oil, and my friend sent me um, his seasoning, Flavor Hut food. So just use your favorite all-purpose seasoning, pretty much, because I'm gonna go back and sauce these bad boys up later. And I stuck these in the oven, still on 375, for also about 15 minutes. My deep fryer is broken, which is why I am attempting to pan fry these mac and cheese balls and the cauliflower wings big 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 mistake these are meant to be deep fried i know some of y'all gonna throw them in the air fryer that's fine i wanted these to be deep fried which is why i'm using um grapeseed oil to deep fry them but it just wasn't enough oil number one and then number two this is not a deep fryer it is a cast iron uh skillet taking out the brussels sprouts because they were more than done Th these might be a fail um it's just it's not it's not it's not giving what it's supposed to give, okay? Okay, so for the rest of these, y'all, I'm gonna put the oven on 375 and cook them uh, for 20 minutes, the Taki wings and the failed mac and cheese balls. <laughs> so they're gonna go in the oven for about 20 minutes on 375. Now I am adding some salt and pepper to the Rotel once it's out. I don't recommend doing salt and pepper ahead of time on this particular recipe. Um, you, you just wanna taste it first and go on from there. But some people automatically add salt to their dishes and that's why we have a history of high cholesterol but that's not my business that is not my business y'all had to recruit ob to make the soul rolls for me while i go check on the wings and all that good old stuff so we'll be like let me go get oil okay y'all let's make a sauce for the takis in case it's a complete disaster and it tastes disgusting so let's make a sauce all right so we're gonna do some frank's red hot all right, let's do about two tablespoons of butter for our sauce. Y'all, y'all can tell I am just too domesticated to be trying to make big portions of food. I cannot. I can see now I can't have no more than two kids. All right, let's zap this in the microwave. Mm -mm. Now we're gonna add some of our hot sauce in. Okay, blue, 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 blue. And some agave. Okay, go mix. I think a little bit more hot sauce. It shouldn't still be yellow. Okay. Oh yeah, that's good. This is one of the fried disasters. <laughs> I just want y'all to see it. <laughs> and then we're gonna coat it here. Oh yes. These soul rolls will have a separate video. Um, I didn't want to make this one too, too long, but it's just egg rolls with mac and cheese. I have a recipe on my channel. Some mustard greens, some yams that were in the can, y'all. Yes, you can judge me, that's fine. And then finally, it had some fried oyster mushrooms, which I've also made several times in this channel. Making a quick ranch for the wings, we're gonna take some mayo, some dill, some apple cider vinegar, some garlic powder, some salt, and pepper and just whip it up y'all and as you can see i'm gonna kind of just increase i'm tasting seeing what i'm gonna do and i'm adding more just taste as you go along uh i really don't want to tell y'all how to make gravy like this because this is again i was rushing i was rushing this is not it's the proper foundation for gravy, but it wasn't a good gravy. I really made like a thick, <laughs> a thick dipping salt at the end of the day, and it was salty. I'm rushing. I'm not even gonna tell y'all what I'm doing here because no, this is not. 
how you make gravy. So just ignore that. But this is the incorrect way to make gravy for the uh, soul rolls. Also going on our charcuterie board is going to be this pepperoni from Sweet Earth and some American style slices from Follow Your Heart. Now it's time to build our charcuterie board. I am putting down mac and cheese balls, soul rolls, wings, celery, the ranch, some birthday cake Oreo. It was so good, y'all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, some of the pepperoni, the cheese, the Brussels sprouts. I know you guys saw corn in the background. Um, it didn't make it. The corn did not make it into my charcuterie board. It was already full. And then we are done. Look at that. So nice. I love it. <laughs> I'm about to try one of these. And that's what uh, mushrooms. I ain't putting no faux meat in there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's real good. I think that's why it's spicy, too. I think I just used the spicy taco season. Mmm. This girl's good. Okay, there y'all have it. <laughs> what is she trying to do to me, y'all? Super Bowl Sunday charcuterie board. <laughs> Cauliflower wings, fried mac and cheese. Tortilla chips, celery, egg rolls, soul food egg rolls. Did you try one of your? Y'all hear me crunching in these. here? Let me see if these are cooked thoroughly. Let me, let me see what OB did. Let me see. They good. Let me try. This one full of yams, oh boy. Yeah. That's not bad, man. Oh, let me eat the um. I'm about to dip mine. Hold right. on, so we don't double dip. I don't double dip, but I'm gonna dip it in the gravy right now. Yeah, well, it's already dirty, so. Mm. Well, now it was time to eat. My guests were over here. We're just digging, digging, digging through it. Um, we did, There's no audible because we were blasting music and it'll be copyrighted here on YouTube. But you know me, guys. I'm going to tell you the honest, honest truth. I do not think my female friend really enjoyed the mac and cheese. I didn't try it because I didn't even have time to try the mac and cheese. I tried it when it was freshly made the day before, but I didn't try the fried version. Um, my guy friend liked it. Girlfriend, I could tell from her face it was just okay for her. Um... We did really like the pepperoni. I thought it was just too big and it would taste way better if it was heated. I took it straight out of the package and put it on the board. Um, soul rolls. Now, my guy friend rolled the soul rolls. I wasn't here to see how he rolled them. When I was frying them, though, I was like, did he double, he double wrapped some of them? Some of them are ripped. Not blaming him because, again, he helped me out a lot. But I, I don't exactly know how the soul rolls tasted this go around um there'll be a separate video after this on how to make those soul rolls so no worries y'all with the proper gravy i got you i got you i got you um i like the takis wings with the sauce uh by themselves they just tasted dry it was still a good taste it just tasted like i was eating takis chips with a cauliflower stuck to it but i couldn't taste the cauliflower just know it was like this a takis chip but with the takis and the sauce i made <laughs> dipped in the ranch I eat that again today. That was, that was for, for, for me some, oh, for me. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Oreos, great. Birthday cake flavor, uh, delicious. Um, what else on the board? Am I missing anything? Y'all, the board was good. Even with the rushing, um, the love rushing, because I was rushing with love, um, everything was great. Like, I would make this all over again. I, just the things that I could have done the night before, I do the night before, obviously. But besides that, y'all, it was really, really good. Highly recommend that you make this, okay? I don't know who y'all rooting for, because I'm not even going to watch the Super Bowl. But yay, go your team. Woo! As always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time. Peace.